Welcome to Land Musings. Today I'll be taking you through my 2023 planner and journal stack, also known as a Techokagi. It's taken me a bit of time to get around to creating this video because I have changed my mind so many times on what I want to use for my everyday carry, my personal planner, my work planner and also for my daily journaling. So this is what I have got so far. I'm hoping there won't be any changes from this point forward but um, if anything maybe one of them will change. I'll talk through that with you in this video. So these are all of the planners and journals that I have. Only a handful of these are actually ones I'll be using on a daily basis but um, in this stack I also do have my journals and my notes and um, I'll take you through them all so you have an idea of my complete collection for 2023. First up we have my Hobonichi Weeks in the Mon Encore design. I have a video on how I have set this up for the year and I'll just pop that video here for you. I'll do a quick flip through but you can watch the video if you want more detail on how this has been set up. So you'll see I have started to use this in December. and I did experiment quite a bit. What I have found is that using this as my work and personal planner was just a bit too crowded. So I am thinking of having a separate work planner. Here in the back you'll see the Alistair method for the month. And I will continue to be using that, but only for my personal planning items. Which brings me to my next journal, which is my Traveller's Notebook in the Camel. This one will be my work planner. Inside here I've just got some lino prints and bookmarks that I purchased from the Mallow Art Market last week. And in here I have a Good Ink Impressions notebook in the standard traveller's notebook size with the 5mm grid. And the intention here is to fill these out with all of the weekdays and week numbers. And on the right hand side will be the prioritised to-do list with the daily to-do list on the left. I'm not sure if I will be keeping this set up. Either I'll be using this good impressions and um, creating the layout myself or I will be buying the Traveller's Weekly Memo Notebooks for 2023. Ideally I'd be able to keep my personal planner and my work planner together, but it could get a bit bulky. We'll see how we go throughout the year, but if this doesn't work out, I'm likely going to get a Moterm cover for my Hobonichi Weeks. In my next Traveller's Notebook, we have the Superior Labour Camel Standard Size Traveller's Notebook and this is actually my favourite one so far. And inside here I have the zipper case in olive and I'll be using this to keep any ephemera or any stickers that I'd like to use for that month or week. Um, and this one houses my memory keepers. In the first notebook I have a monthly memory keeper. For November and December I have used these to just note some highlights of the day or just a note for the day. But I'm thinking from January onwards I'll be using this as more like a um, creative monthly planner. 
And then from here, we have my weekly memory keeper. In that first page, I'll have a list of things that I've accomplished for the year. And on the next few pages, this is where I'll keep notes on the trips that we've had for the year. If I go back to the monthly memory keeper, I'm going to paste in the photo of the month for every month. I've already started to use my undated weekly notebook for November and December. And you'll see there's no real consistency here and I'm just going to keep playing around with this. Like I mentioned before, it's just a fun creative outlet for me and there's no wrong or right. I'm taking a very wabi-sabi approach to these memory keepers. I do have an unboxing video for this Superior Labour Traveller's Notebook. So if you'd like to watch that, I'll just pop it up here for you. Here we have my five-year Hobonichi notebook. And for this, at the moment I'm thinking I'll pop a daily log on the left, um, which is why I'm moving away from writing the daily highlights in the memory keepers. And then on the right hand side I'm thinking I might use my Everyday Explorers stamp props and just use that to kind of write um, a memory for that day. And at the back here, where there's a page for each year, I'm thinking I will write the things I have accomplished for that year. So those three are my three main planners, journals for next year. And all of the notebooks following this are notebooks I'll write in, you know, maybe once a week. I don't want to put any pressure on it. So this traveller's notebook in camel again is in pocket size and it is actually my first traveller's notebook ever so it does hold a special little place in my heart. The first notebook is another memory keeper and I have been using this throughout 2022 but I'm going to continue to use this into 2023. In my second notebook is my commonplace notebook where I put collages and some quotes that I have come across just through things I've read or in movies and TV shows I have seen. My second traveller's notebook is in the brown leather. I've only just recently set this one up. It houses just a plain notebook for collages and the second notebook I have here is one I made myself with some scrap paper I had lying around um, and in here I think I'm going to pop in some pressed flowers and maybe some notes if um, those flowers came from somewhere special. This one here is my Tokyo Station Brown Traveller's Notebook. It really shouldn't be in this stack to be honest but I do keep it on hand and sometimes I just like to flick through that and also a reminder to myself to keep traveling and explore the world. This is the last of the traveler's notebooks. It is my navy standard size and initially I was using this for mind maps and flows and just recording things I've learnt but uh, yeah, I'm still using it to record things I've learnt, but not necessarily just all mind maps and flows. And the second notebook is my dream journal. Next up I have the A5 Stalogy and that is just for practicing my hand lettering and also morning pages if I fill up for it.
And this last one that I have in my stack is my gratitude journal that I got from Amazon. Um, I have been using this in 2022 and I haven't finished it just yet. So I will continue to use this journal whenever I feel like I need a pick me up from getting into gratitude journaling again. And that is the last of my 2023 Techokaigi planner stack. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!